Hello and welcome. I'm Dr. Sandri. I'm the leading scientist in the Equestrian Neuroscience Department at the University of Okaboji here in Iowa. I've been studying the female equestrian cerebrum, or brain, for the last 47 years. Today, I will be walking you through our findings of almost five decades of research. Here, we have a diagram of an equestrian female cerebrum. We will start over here with the cleanliness gland, the largest part of the female equestrian brain. Now, cleanliness can be a broad term, but when we're speaking of the equestrian female brain, we mean only to speak of tack and their personal riding horse. You'll see over here this much smaller ganglia. This is for personal hygiene, not to be confused with the cleanliness gland. Now here we have two lobes that work hand in hand. First, we have the no you can't ride my horse lobe. Now this lobe sends messages to the oral cavity, aka mouth, to spit out the message, no you cannot ride my horse. As soon as this lobe fires a signal to the oral cavity, a second signal is fired to the excuse generator. This lobe generates as many excuses on the fly as needed to ward off the predator. I mean the non-equestrian homo sapien that wants to ride the equestrian's horse. Which brings me to the disdain region. This is a fascinating region, which could use a whole department of researchers of its own. For example, in this particular equestrian brain, this region is rather normal sized. But the older the equestrian brain is, the more likely this region is to expand and take over the other regions, glands, and lobes. We call this illness crazy horse lady disease. It is most commonly found in women who have been involved with horses for many, many years. However, we are finding that there is an influx in young equestrians as well. Here we have the Taxtor location sensor, similar to echolocation found in dolphins. Here we have the equitation jealousy and envy section. When this is triggered, it rapid fires a signal to the random and useless horse trivia region. This typically fires when the equestrian feels that their equitation is being judged and they feel that they need to prove themselves in another arena. Pun intended. This region has the capacity to hold countless useless equine data. Of course, we have the hangry lobe. Now this is standard in all female homo sapiens. It produces large amounts of anger hormones, so stay away from there. Ah yes, here we have a tiny little lobe. We enlarged it so it could be seen with the human eye, but in actuality, it is only one cell. It is responsible for an equestrian sense of time when at the barn. Fun fact, some equestrians don't have this lobe at all. This is what we call the criticism file. This is where equestrians keep every critique they ever received. It is quite tense down here and cold to the touch. And up here we have the Smart Pack Sales Notification Center, nicknamed the Debt Gland. Ah yes, the anxiety. When an equestrian leaves the barn, these levels rise to astronomical heights. And here we have the I need to reorder my horse supplements gland. And everything non-horse related happens here. 47 years of study, hundreds of thousands of equestrian brains analyzed, and there you have it. Thank you for attending our presentation on the female equestrian brain. We hope this helps the rest of you non-equestrian homo sapiens in your understanding of the female equestrian brain. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and I will see you in the next video. Now this is what we call the criticism file. This is where equestrians, equestrians, equarians. This is what we, this is what we call the criticism file. This is where equestrians, I can't say equestrians. Uh, <laughs> it's going to my criticism file.